gosh, I think I just cracked the code. I crack the code. Hello guys, welcome back. Once again, this is Ali, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I know my voice sounds a little off. It's because I'm barely coming out of a cold or I believe allergies. I don't even know. My voice is getting back to normal. Don't mind it. Let's just talk and focus about this new product. In today's video, we are going to try a new product. As you guys can guess, there is something that's missing on my face because the product that I'm going to try today is going to be a brow product. So I will let you know how it works, how I feel about it, and if I think it's worth the price or worth in general, or is it just a hype? You guys will get my first impressions, my thoughts, the tea, and of course there's no tea, how this product works, then keep on watching. The product that we're gonna showcase today is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I didn't even do much research in regards of this product if I'm being honest. Videos just kept popping up on my Instagram and on TikTok, it really caught my attention. Okay, so this is the packaging. The product is clear. This cost $23 and I wanna see the claims. Lifts, tames, and sculpts every hair in place without a stiff feel. Feathered looking brow is mess free and provides long lasting extreme hold leaving you with full bodied brows that last all day. Before I even try it I want to give you my thoughts on this product because I want you guys to know what I'm what I think this product will feel like. I feel that this product is going to go you know smoothly on and all of that but I feel that throughout the day it's going to get slippery and um, I feel it will leave me a shimmery, not shimmery, a glossy finish on my brows. Hold, I'm, I don't know, I don't think, it doesn't look like it can't hold much. My brows are stubborn, my brows are going straight down and there is, I feel, no way you can lift this up. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close. All right, so we're very close, excuse my baby hairs. They are blooming. I have foundation on top and on the bottom, but nowhere near the brow area. I'm gonna open this baby up. Let's see, well, it will, it's clear. All right, so I'm just gonna go in there. You know how this feels? This feels like the braiding pomades that I use. interesting it feels like that consistency of the pomade wow <laughs> who would have thought my brows would look like this i've always struggled wow this looks cute okay a little crazy but Brows come through. Okay, interesting. It definitely feels like the pomade I use for braiding. You know, it looks nice, but I don't know how I, I feel about this yet. Hmm. But look at the difference. <gasps> it's crazy regular I have brows no brows brows okay now I'm gonna do this I see a lot of people doing like this to calm them a little down that's a huge difference okay now we're gonna let it dry I think you have to let it dry is I feel the product, the brow product, won't go on if it's still glossy. Okay, now I'm gonna let it dry because I think you have to. Meanwhile, I do the other one. I'll be right back. 
I was about to go ahead and do the other brow, but I wanted to check out the edge control products that this product reminded me about. And I tr tried them with my finger and it's the exact same thing. This is what I use. And it is the exact type of consistency as this one. Should I try it? I'm gonna try this one is more clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one on me on the other brow and see if it works almost the same oh my god we're gonna improvise in this video we're going to check out the edge control product and see if it works on the brows the same if it does yeah. i'm gonna use this one right here which is this yeah it's the same consistency as i'm grabbing it right now Let's see if it works the same. Let's just get a comparison shot. Yep, it feels exactly the same. Yep, it feels the same. Now we're gonna see if it dries the same. Well, at least <laughs> hairs are longer, I feel. These are way slicker than this one. The edge control one is too strong. <laughs> we need to calm this down a little. Whoa, this one's like flat. And the other one is not that flat. All right, we're gonna let it dry and see if it goes like this one because right now this one looks really slippery, not slippery, glossy. And this one was looking glossier earlier, but as of right now, it fully dried up and it doesn't look glossy at all. I'm back and I feel that the product has fully dried both the Anastasia and this one is the edge control product now what i'm going to do is the second test applying product onto the brows i'm going to use my brow wiz and this is what i use all the time for my brows let's start off with the anastasia and i'm just going to apply it on the areas that i feel needs an extra needs extra help a little right over here okay the product isn't applying as smoothly as it usually does but having this brow like that you don't need much I don't know if you guys can see but it is slightly flaking all right let's not do too much but that looks so good already now let's go on with the edge control side and let's see how it applies. Okay, this one needs a little more help. It's same thing, it's hard to for the product to apply. I feel that for this, if you need to add product, you would need to use a pomade to add a color or tint to it rather than a pencil. That looks nice. Just right here, right here. I do have to say that with the pomade side, it's not flaking as much, but there is still a little incy bincy flake here and there. That worked out pretty well. You don't have to do much because again, since your brows are lifted, it gives you more, the illusion of more brow hair than it normally would be. So now I'm going to clean up with my concealer. I'm going to use NARS concealer in the shade Ginger and I'm going to add a little bit of custard in the mix. That looks so pretty. That looks very nice. I 
I finished concealing my eyelids and I am liking how they look. For the top part, I'm not going to clean much. If anything, I'm going to grab my beauty blender and just lightly blur anything that perhaps I interrupted previously. Um, because the whole point is to have the feathery effect as opposed to have a line. I will go ahead and put on my lashes and I'll be right back. And I'm back. I already applied my lashes and finished up the entire look. As you guys can see, here's the before and after, and the difference is mind-blowing. I want to give you my last thoughts. Based on this little experiment we did, a very unexpected experiment, I didn't come into this video with the mentality that I was going to compare this product to something similar to it. Um, so it was very unexpected, and I'm glad I did so I can give you some more insight. This product, did it work well? Yes, it did. It worked um, better than I thought. As you guys can see, it kept the brows still after some time right now. They're still looking in place or they haven't become, uh, how do we just say, shiny. And also, same thing goes with the other side, the experimented side which we tried edge control and it works almost if anything exactly the same it is just the fact that one is smaller and one is bigger other than that they are exactly the same thing so take that information the way you want to take that information the product does work but is there something else that works almost if anything exactly the same but cheaper yes so if perhaps we are in a budget or whatever the case may be you just don't want to spend a lot of money on this product would I purchase this product again in all honesty I feel I wouldn't but I don't regret purchasing it I don't regret trying it it does work so if you are interested in this product let me just tell you it does work i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel make sure you press that notification bell in order to get notified every single time i upload a new video and without further ado i'll see you guys on my next video bye <laughs>